Thank you guys for tuning in. You are watching JFK's Way, man. I, of course, am. I'm JFK, man. So today, first and foremost, I want to thank every person out there that's ever commented, like to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, do all three right now, man. Subscribe, comment. I, I appreciate the love, man. Trust me, it goes a very, very long way. Uh, today, I want to get into something I said a few videos back. I said, you know what? I get new stuff, like new books and stuff, almost every Wednesday. So every week is something, almost every week, let me say, it's something. Uh, these last few weeks, it wasn't too, too heavy, uh, but I want to break something down real quick and show you guys some books that are really, really on fire right now, man. When I say these books are on fire, like, like they catching heat. As soon as I show you, you're going to know. So right now, we're going to jump right into it, man. This right here is Avengers number 40. Beautiful cover. Crazy, crazy good. The inks are great. The, this is actually done by an artist named Dustin Weaver. Uh, if you're not familiar with, with his work, don't worry about it. Look it up. He, you got you got tons and tons and tons of time to go back and check a lot of his workout. Beautiful work. This right here, if you guys can't see, this is the depiction of our king. This is Black Panther right here, possessed by the Phoenix Force. Uh, as you guys can see right there with the crown, his crown is on fire. The fire coming out of the shoulder pads. The, the fire coming out of his claws. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. Right now, this was last week. Let me bring you guys up to speed. That's issue 40. This is issue 41. Oh, it gets better. Whew. This right here, when I seen it, this is probably one of my all-time favorite Black Panther covers in existence, which, which means throughout the history of Black Panther comics being printed, which, believe it or not, or since the 60s before I was even born, I would say this was probably hands down one of, if not the greatest Black Panther cover ever done. Uh, as you guys see, the, the Phoenix is actually behind him. Uh, once again, this is him with the Phoenix Force. This right here, this is actually issue 41. And uh, the next issue, the next few issues I'm going to show you are also issue 41s. But this is the regular cover. Uh, this is done by an artist named Lionel Francis Yu. I believe I'm saying his name right. Now, if you guys don't know who Phoenix is, uh, she's actually shown in X-Men films. And I believe they actually gave her her own film. She's listed as one of the strongest beings in history, like in the existence of Earth. She's one of the strongest beings ever in creation. So she actually has an ability to give all of her powers to a multitude of people, right? This is also issue 41, but this is the connecting cover. So as you guys can see, I'm going to show you this, right? You've seen this one, right? You've seen this one too. But if you look up close, his hand goes right next to it. It's a connecting cover. So I believe there's two more of these coming out. Uh, they are not out as of yet uh, to date when I'm filming this. So uh, when they do come out, I will be showing those as well. But uh, long story short, Phoenix Force, she wants one person. You guys know who that one person is going to be. She wants this man right here. That's right, our king, the leader of the Avengers at this current moment in time, Black Panther. But to put him to the test, she splits it. She splits the power. And as you see, there's actually Namor back there, believe it or not. Namor has it. This is actually She-Hulk back here as well. She-Hulk has it. She splits it pretty much uh, to have a test of people that battle to see who's the strongest person with it. So will our king come out on top? He's actually not possessed. He's kind of like encouraging it. Like he's he's donning the power and like I know what you're doing. So crazy, crazy artwork. I love those covers. Uh, we're going to get you guys next up next to speed is this one right here. This is also Avengers 41. Same issue. Same issue. Same issue, right? Same issue, right? But this right here, this one, as you see, this is also done by Lionel Francis Yu. Uh, I believe I'm saying his name right. This is our king fighting an alien, like literally an alien from the films. If you guys know from the cinematic universe, aliens, uh, they actually did a crossover with aliens and predators where aliens were fighting predators. If you haven't seen those or heard of them, maybe you've been under the rock for a while. I don't know. But as you guys see right here, this is Arcane. This is Black Panther fighting an alien. Marvel now owns the rights to both of those. So as of lately, they're doing like a a series of nothing but alien variants. So a lot of characters, you know, whoever, like Wolverine, Wolverine's fighting an alien, Spider-Man's fighting an alien, Captain America's fighting an alien. So they haven't got to the Predator part yet, but it's coming. It's coming. So you guys know how to do it, all right? You know how to do it a little bit, right? Hold on. Don't do it once, do it twice. You know how to do things, right? Hold on. Thought it was over. Nah. Thought it was over. Nah. Don't do it once, do it twice. This is going to go in the stash. I need this signed and graded. This one right here is a personal for the Regis copy. Yeah, that's how I do. Oh, you know. You know I did it with these. You know I did. You know I did. If I could have got 10, I would have got 10 just because I love the cover so much. But these were the only two I could find in really, really good grades. Uh, we're going to jump right into the next one. This one right here. This is a good cover too, man. This is from King in Black. As you guys can see, that is Thor. 
Yes, the Thunder God fighting a gentleman right here who some of you may be familiar with, who some of you may not be familiar with. This gentleman's name is Null, K-N-U-L-L, -L. Null, like Null and Void. It's funny because his name is Null, and he's from the Void. He's from, like, the blackness and pits of space, where he actually created uh, the suits that Venom, the Carnage, those suits. He's actually the god. He's the very first one. He's the god to create them. And, yeah, you know, there's a few. There's actually a planet of them. It's not just a few of them. There's a planet of them. So he's actually the god of them, and so it's pretty much a god battle right now. It's him versus the god of thunder. So this actually was a was a beautiful, beautiful cover, man. I love it. Uh, I initially seen it was listed as a secret cover um, done by my man, Ken Lashley. Shout out to Ken Lashley, man. Again, beautiful artwork, beautiful artwork as well. Doesn't disappoint. Now, this one right here, it's nothing too, too crazy, nothing out the ballpark. But uh, my alias, I was deemed Mr. Negative a while, years ago for a few reasons. These are Mr. Negative's nemesis right here. Right? You see, it's a lot of blue shades, a lot of blue tint. I love how they did this. And then Spider-Man, of course, being red and blue, the red definitely, definitely sticks out and pops on this cover. So you see Spider-Man in the middle, banging out, man. So I love this. This cover is done by the God, man, the God artist, who I used to think was just, just the creator of Spider-Man because he drawing. But the man, Mark Bagley, man, I call him KB, which is King Bagley. Uh, the King himself did this beautiful, beautiful artwork, man. Nothing too, too crazy, nothing out of the way. But this one right here was the biggest home run I've seen in, in weeks, probably this year, as of yet. This right here, boom. This is Werewolf by Night, man. I absolutely love this cover. Uh, the tints of it, what, what can I say? I feel like we all got a beast or an animal somewhere in us, right? Well, again, I actually, you know, I'm the lone wolf, man. It's just me doing everything, so on my parts of things so i kind of relate a lot a lot to the lone wolf thing and i've seen this naturally it's total total attractive to me i said man i gotta buy this covering honestly i haven't looked and seen any crazy crazy price tags for it but i also haven't seen a lot of them now this book was the only one in the stores that i was at like out of three or four stores that i went to there was only one and this is the one that i am holding right here in my hand man so if you guys like any of these covers let me know uh in the comments below like i said good or bad however you guys feel thumbs up thumbs down you guys comment let me know uh i appreciate the love and i'll catch you guys on the next one